Here's a quick tip, never throw away the tarsal glands from a buck that is in rut. These glands are worth their weight in gold when you introduce them into a new hunting area or if you save them for next year if you're going to hunt the same area again. Because these glands have such a strong odor, I double bag the glands and vacuum seal them before placing them into the freezer. The day before the hunting season opens, I place them in a plastic container that I had drilled some holes into. This allows the air to flow through. I cut the glands into smaller pieces and hang them in multiple places around my stand. The plastic container helps keep the elements out and also hinders the raccoons and other rodents from carrying them off. The tarsal glands will last for several weeks this way. My primary use for scents is not to attract deer, but to hold the deer. If a deer comes through my area, I want him to slow down or even stop into my shooting lane so that I can make an ethical shot. I like to add a doe and estrus scent to a few cotton balls around my stand for the finishing touch. I'm hoping that the scents will buy me just a little bit of time and take the deer's attention off of me when he's checking the wind. Adding a camera and self-filming your hunt is a huge challenge. If I can get the deer to stop in a shooting lane or slow down for the shot so that I can work the camera and get drawn back, this is a huge, huge advantage. <laughs>